guys, it's uh, Legion XX Step Step here today, and we're starting a tutorial series on Mine Emator, which is a Minecraft video maker. As you can see here today, we'll be going through the basics, such as implementing characters, camera viewing, rotations, and so forth. Okay, first off, as you can see here, we have a timeline, side menus and stuff. And the main way to get really started in this is to add a character. And just to do that, you click Add. And just go Character. And all the way over here, he spawned right in the central point. I just gotta get over there. We have Steve. Steve. pretty simple. Now Steve is not just Steve. We could also change him into me. Let's see. Where do I have me? There we go. We have me. Hmm. It's pretty simple. Next off. Now I'm going to show you guys, <coughs> <coughs> sorry I'm sick, um, show you guys some basic movements and so forth, show you camera views, how to run, okay first off first, you see now on character timeline that we have character 1, now he is implemented in the world but he's not implemented into the file, and in order to do that we just have to simply go here, and right here, click, and there we go. Now we can select body parts, so forth. Now that's the main part. Now, if you see rotations, you'll get this little orby thing, and that allows you to move your upper half, change the directions. Reset part. Change the tilt. Ugh. Sorry, camera's a little funky. So forth with head. Arms. You can move it forward. Give it a bend radius. Okay, now say me as your first part. Say we want him to do. Say we want him holding a pickaxe. Now to do that, you just exit keyframes, add item, and then you can add a pickaxe. Same thing to get everything done. You have to click items. And now, if you click position down, you'll get these arrows. And you can kind of direct it like this, or like this. And I just rotate it like this. Ugh, cameras. And like this. And then I will drag it upward. Place it in my hand. There we go. Now I'm holding a pickaxe. How creative. Oh, that's pretty much simple. Next, I can show you. Say we want him to move. Just click on this. Say we want him to move this arm, and you want it to be a key, want it to be a frame, 
so that it moves in an animation. Say we want it to move in a five second framing, you click a dot, and there you go. Now to do that, you're gonna go to here, and you'll move him forward, and say we want him to bend his arm, move it however far you want him to bend his arm. Now, if we do uh, this, you'll see, I have it in slow-mo, you'll see that he slowly moves his arm, just like that, over and over and over. Now, say you want him to bob his head, go up, select his head. Then, see, you want him to bob his head up and down saying yes or something. You'd have to create another keyframe. After creating the first emotion, which puts his head down, see, you go from five. Then his positions his head down. And then you position his head up. But you don't want it to be like a slow motion like this, do ya? I mean, that's a pretty slow nod. So, what you're just gonna do is. You could drag it back a little, drag this back, and go from here. There we go, we got a little bit of a nod. Compress that in a little. See what we got there? We got a little bit of movement. Say we want him to move his leg forward just do that give him a bend effect move this leg back give it a bend effect see this is going to be a little funky because I moved it in but now we see this, look Now he's gonna move forward and he's gonna move back. Move forward, move back. Move forward, move back. Now, the tricky thing is that if you say you want him. You move, you have him here and you have him here. And then you have another frame here. See, now that you have this frame in, say you go back here and you decide to move him here this is gonna screw up the framing see now watch it's gonna move him back and it's gonna move him forward so whatever you edit on this frame you also have to edit on this frame so you move him back otherwise you get little glitches like that So, so forth, you could also animate him, so, here, let's do this, delete, there we go, let's just delete all, there we go, just reset him, there we go, give him a fresh thing, now let's move his hand back up to meet the pickaxe, Again, I'm going to give him a bending effect. There we go. So, that gives us that. Next, we want to add a... I'm going to just add a block in. Do that, I'll just, just add a grass block in. Move the block over. And here. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Now, say we want to give him the motion of hitting his pickaxe in. Now, do that. We'll select his arm. And we'll tilt his arm down. And do bends that way. 
Now we'll follow with the item. Tilt the item this way. Put the item down. And just position it in his hand. Now, as if we un we go from here, you'll have somewhat of a bendy effect that he's striking. We can make this a little bit more realistic, but I mean, just showing you basics today. I mean, we could really do this like that. So that kind of covers the main basics for that part. Um, I think I can teach you guys textures and other parts next episode, so I think that should be good.